Hey everybody, welcome back to, in this case, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. I'm Bill, and I'm really excited to show you, for the first time ever on the internet, probably, Pilot Edge's new CP DLC, which is a digital clearance. Um, I'll get to that in a second. Um, this is operated through Fans GUI which is uh, a new service that Pilot Edge has implemented, and it's a really cool feature that mirrors its real-life counterpart. So a CP DLC is a digital version of getting your clearance from an IFR flight plan. There's a general aviation version called a PDC. PDC. My friend and CFIIQ is feeding me lines in my ear. There he is. <laughs> um, uh, PDC? PDC is something that you can um, get from services like Four Flights. If you file an IFR flight plan, uh, you get basically just a text message with your, your clearance. Um, CP DLC is something that is fed to your FMC in the plane. Um, and I'll show you kind of how this works. This isn't meant to be a how-to. Pilot Edge has a great video on their website at pilotedge.net that takes you through exactly you know, the, the download uh, steps, how to go about this, and a lot more minutia. This is just kind of a, a demonstration, an early demonstration of how this system actually works, which I will show you. Um, and this is my the first time I've, I've done this, so hopefully everything goes smoothly. And this will be, if it does, a testament to the amazing instructions on Pilot Edge's website. It also doesn't hurt that I have a real-world citation and citation pilot and CFII sitting next to me. Um, but Pilot Edge, one of the, the main benefits to Pilot Edge is how much work they put behind a lot of the documentation with the services that they provide. So I'll show you a little bit of that. We'll go through a typical clearance. We're flying from John Wayne in this CJ4 up to San Jose. Um, but to get our IFR clearance that we filed, we're not going to talk to clearance and delivery. Um, it's it's really great if you're, well, there's a number of reasons why you would use this. One, if you're kind of new to reading back IFR clearances and you're, you're having trouble keeping up, it's a great way to read the clearance and input it and then go about the flight without having the ATC interaction quickly reading back the the clearance the other reason would be like q who is a professional jet pilot if you're firing off a bunch of ifr flights and it just helps streamline the process so you can file your flight plan and as you're loading passengers and configuring the plane for your flight uh, atc is working on your clearance and then feeding it to you as soon as it's done so there's a couple of benefits to that but again um, this is a real world uh, system that Pilot Edge is now mirroring like it does uh, its other services. So it might seem odd if this is the first time that you've heard about this, but when I told Q that they're imp implementing this, his first words were like, oh, cool. So this is something that real world jets pilots use every flight, right? Would you say they use this every flight? Uh, Some version of it? So, we so it's a newer airplane thing. If you're flying a CJ4 or even you know, a, a, a CJ3 that has the new Garmin Avionics, you're getting this uh, CP DLC at airports with support. And that's a key thing to remember is that this is not supported at every airport. Pilot Edge is only um, using this at airports in which it's available in the real world. And that's all listed out on the CP DLC page. So with all that out of the way, here is the Pilot Edge flight plan page. When you're filing a flight plan, you file it here for any flight, whether it's a VFR flight plan, if you're doing the CAT ratings or an IFR flight plan, this is the page that you go to. And you can see here, I've got IFR, I've got the call sign, I've got the aircraft type, the equipment uh, suffix in there, airspeed, departure, arrival, cruising altitude, um, I didn't put in an alternate airport. And then here is the um, the route that I filed. And we got this off of, uh, well, two ways. One from four flight uh, route suggestion. And then I ran it by Q, who's done this flight a number of times in the real world and confirmed that this is the, the clearance that he has gotten. In my initial test to make sure this happens, we did get something different from ATC, which is 
perfect because it shows one of the key benefits of this feature. So we'll see if the second time gives us a different clearance, but regardless, it's going to be written down so we'll be able to see exactly what uh, what the clearance is and we, we have time to accept it and, and go ahead and input it into our, our FMC. So that's the flight plan. That's kind of how we arrived at that flight plan. And just like any other normal IFR flight on Pilot Edge, we're just going to click um, file flight. Now, this is a beta version of this system right now. There will be a checkbox to get your CP DLC um, uh, filed, basically, which we don't have, so I'm putting it in the remarks, and that will tell um, ATC that we are using this in a, in a beta version. Um, as of this recording, this is not out yet, so um, that's just kind of a workaround for that. So let's file the flight plan. Flight plan has been filed successfully. Um, so now we will pull this over here, so get that out of the way, and we'll pull up the fans GUI right here, and this is where the clearance is delivered. So unlike in the real plane where you'd be actually getting this, um, this message on the actual avionics in your plane, this is just coming from a different window that's mimicking an FMC. So what I'm going to do is input my uh, f call sign here, 204 Lima Echo, and we're going to uh, file. Okay, so cool. So we got flight ID, and then we've got KUSA is our log on to. Again, this is pre beta, uh, or it's not pre beta. This is a beta, and I'm I'm going off the instructions here a little bit, and I you know so I I don't have a bunch of runs of doing this. So forgive my my slowness in making sure I do this correctly. But once we have everything logged in, the flight plan has been filed, we're going to click send log on. Log on denied. So that just means that ATC has not picked up my flight plan yet. They haven't looked at it yet. So what I would do is Let's load some passengers on. We can go into um, our our FMC here, and we can do some of our preliminary um, setup of of our flight stuff that we know it's going to happen. So we've got KSNA. That's our origin route, uh, our origin airport. Uh, KSJC. We're going to go visit Owen, and then we're at we're we're going to be whoops sorry. K S J C. There we go. And our flight number is going to be 204. So we'll put flight number in there. Awesome. Now I am going to um, check back with the UI and I will come back as soon as we have logged in. Okay, so we have logged on. Um, we know that we are logged in because it says logged off now, which means that the air traffic controller has accepted the flight plan and is looking at it, and we should get a little ding when the, the clearance is ready. Like, <laughs> that was actually pretty nice. Just on cue. Um, so while I was waiting, I did get the plane started up and the avionics turned back on. So now we're at the point where we look at ATC message right here, which is, can you see my mouse? Yeah, you can. ATC message. So I'm going to click that, and now we have the full clearance. So this is what we would normally hear on the clearance delivery frequency, which we would then read back. So here we have cleared channel 3, which is different than what we filed. Channel 3, uh, San Marcos, Trox, Silicon 4. Uh, so load new route to San, uh, San Jose, climb via SID, except maintain 5,000, expect flight level 320, 10 minutes. Now we're 1-2, which means we're on page 1 of 2, so we're going to go to next. Uh, climb maintain, um, where are we at? Expect flight level 320, 10 minutes after departure. Departure frequency is on 28.1, squawking 2765. And then we have the full clearance right here, um, the full flight plan. Um, you know that this is what 
we would have filed had it been correct, um, or maybe not correct, but accepted. Um, so that is the full clearance. Now this is an, again, replacement of going to our uh, scratch pad and pulling up our craft sheet and listening to the controller read back this instruction. So I have, um, you know, four flight right here. So what I, what this would look like is reading this off. So we're cleared to, we're cleared to San Jose, uh, you know, channel, whatever you want to write that channel three, um, San Marcos, Trox, you know, so we'd, we'd be, we'd be writing this whole thing out, uh, Silicon four. Okay. Uh, climb 5,000, expect 320, 10 minutes, frequencies 28.1, and then uh, what's, our, what's our squat? 2765. So versus this versus reading your scribble, and again, if you're new and trying to read back a clearance quickly, um, it can be a little bit overwhelming at first. So this is a, a great tool that one, replicates a real world system, and two, makes it easier for, for you know, those of you that are using Pilot Edge to slowly get into, you know, either transitioning from VFR into IFR clearances. This gives you the ability to, like in a more slowly controlled way, read back an instruction. So that is, that is really cool. So we're gonna go, um, oh, okay. And of course it, of course it timed out um, as, <laughs> as I was uh, reading all that off. I should have hit accept. Okay, so important thing to remember here is that you've got 90 seconds to accept the clearance. So as I was explaining everything, the clearance actually timed out. So we're gonna go back into ATC message and we've got actually now uh, <laughs> cleared to San Jose. Uh, Hero 3 IK, then as filed, climb via SID. So we actually got a different, slightly different route um, this time, uh, which is really interesting. So we're going to go to the next page. Um, departure frequency. I'm actually going to write this down. 7474. Um, and then I'm going to accept. So there it is. So we've accepted it. And now we have the clearance here that I can refer to and input into the FMC of the plane without having to scribble anything or um, you know read something back really quick. I can just use the fans GUI um, off to the side and and put in the clearance. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set up the FMC here with my clearance, and I will be right back with that loaded up. Okay, so now I have everything loaded up. So I've got my fans GUI over here off to the side on my second monitor, and I'm just going through um, everything that's on the clearance. Make sure that departure looks good. So there's Hero 3 IK transition. We got 2-0 right there. Uh, we go back to arrival, and we've got the Silicon 4 with the Trox transition, which is what we filed. I have the ILS for 30 left in here. We're kind of expecting that to be our um, our approach. Um, and then the legs here. So this is the Hero 3 departure, and then we've got Scatter and Trox, which are the two waypoints uh, in route that we've got filed. And here is the Silicon 4 and all of those uh, GPS waypoints all the way to the, um, to the ILS for 30 left. That's it. I haven't talked to anybody on the radio yet, and yet I've got our IFR clearance. So now we are going to go to uh, the ground frequency. Again, IFR clearance, and we get our taxi. Jamming ground, citation 204 Lima Echo, Clay Lacey ready to taxi. Citation 204 Lima Echo, uh, John Wayne Ground, Squawk 7474. 7474, citation 204 Lima Echo. There we go, check that out. 7474, forgot to do that. Q, thank you for reminding me. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, you forget some stuff sometimes, you know. Um, what you didn't see in this video is the four or five times my computer crashed doing this. Got a new new setup that's taken a little time to get. Zero for Lima Echo. Thank you. My two zero right taxi via Bravo Lima. Bravo Lima two zero right citation two zero four Lima Echo. So there we go. We have filed a flight plan, IFR flight plan. We submitted the flight plan, logged into the fans GUI, uh, requested or you know logged in to um, to the system, and just waited for our clearance. And I think we saw a couple of versions of the types of clearances you can get as we run over this taxiway light. Um, there, are, there are a couple of uh, different versions of clearances that you can receive through this system. And they're all laid out on the Pilot Edge website, but you basically have a cleared as filed, so let a rip, have at it. Um, there's a, an amended um, version of that. Uh, we got the cleared as filed one, which is cleared to, uh, and that's just letting us know, you see the clear to, that it's pretty much as we filed it. There's also a full route clearance and then there's an amended clearance where you have p portions of your um, of your flight plan accepted um, up until a point and then you're cleared as filed. So it's a really great system. I, I think the main benefit for uh, people that are using Pilot Edge will be to start getting those IFR clearances in a text form rather than a um, you know, a verbally read back version. And I think that's going to help, um, you know, if, you, if you're just trying to get your feet wet with IFR stuff. The I ratings are obviously step number one, um, but if, you're, if you've graduated from the I ratings and you're now going into turbofan, turboprop aircraft, uh, which is the only type of aircraft that this system is available for, then this is an amazing, option for um, one, utilizing a real world system and two, doing something that might make your life a little bit easier as you uh, get used to uh, IFR flying uh, one f for real life training purposes but also in the simulator. So now we're holding short for the runway and we are ready to take off. Thank you guys so much. Uh, big shout out to Pilot Edge for giving me this, this early access um, to test this thing out before it goes live. I think you guys are really going to enjoy this system. And it's another great reason why Pilot Edge has been such an amazing network for me and for many, many other pilots is that they're constantly improving the, the network, the features. Uh, Keith, in particular, has put in a lot of work in implementing this system as, as well as all the many other systems with help from various members of the flight sim aviation community. So... Um, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, please answer in the comments below. And uh, hopefully you can join live or join a Discord. Uh, all those links are below. And uh, join along in the fun. We've got some real-world flights coming up, as well as a bunch of uh, flight sim stuff. Q and I are going to have, have some fun. He's monitoring over here. <laughs> um, so thanks, guys, for watching. Have a good one. See ya!